Hey guys, Footy Manager TV here and welcome to episode number 35 of my Bar City Lower League Management playthrough in Football Manager 2015 and today we have a difficult task. We have two away games, four days apart as well against Walking and then Dartford. My challenge to myself and to my team in this these two games, I want to avoid defeat. At least picking up draws. That's the challenge for us. Because we haven't won an away game this season, have we? What, we've got draws, but mostly... No! Yeah, that would have been a pre-season friendly. The first game was, yeah, the first game was against Halifax. FC Halifax in the league. But yeah, the rest three wins in the league uh, have been at home. So that's a good thing. Because after this episode, we're going to have, yeah, then three games in a row in the league that are at home. We could potentially win three in, a, three in a row, but I want to go for at least two, being realistic, because it's not like we're a team that's expected to get promoted or anything. But saying that, if we can... Yeah, this is what I mean. If I can get two draws, maybe a draw and a win somehow. Somehow get a draw and a win, and then we can get on some form there, and then win those three home games. We could be actually in a decent position, and we'll still be alive for promotion, maybe in the playoff places this season. Eastley has just thunderbolted away in the lead, so I don't want to take yeah that 3-0 result against them. Yeah, um, that's obviously a big standout. The rest of the games have been close. They're just obviously a dominant team. <laughs> I'm not sure of the exact reason. Obviously, they just have good players. That's the simple answer to that, but yes... Uh, going to try and go for a draw here. So instead of standard, we're going to be playing on counter. Just That just signifies the way we want to play. And we'll make some changes. Uh, bring in David Pratt. This is probably his last hurrah, last chance to show me he can do it at this level. If he can't, uh, not really sure. He could be on the outer because our squad is pretty big. We might want to lower it for uh, the wage budget concerns, even though it looks healthy right now. That's just because we've got Curtis DeCosta out on loan. And also the guy we signed on loan, Anthony Furlong. That decision to sign him, at least for the previous game, was really, really good. He got a 7.2 rating in his first appearance. He probably still needs that match fitness, does he? Or no, he's match fit. He was just tired. But wow, what a performance. And he's naturally a fullback, not naturally a centre-back, but showed he can play there. At this level, I feel it doesn't matter if they're natural or whatever in a position. Like if they've got attributes to play somewhere, that's going to be really, really good. Uh, ben, uh, ben Adelsbury has lifted as well in recent games, playing box-to-box -box midfielder. Uh, so that's all coming along nicely. How long Matt Godden? How long till he's coming back? It's still two to three months, so I'd, I'll just leave it in my head. Yeah, about January. Around January, he'll be ready. But yes, as I was saying... A few players could be on the outer, David Pratt, and also another guy, uh, Martin Slocum, because we did sign Anthony Robertson now, uh, this season. Um, the Two rotations of Dan Ball and him, uh, that's enough, really. And even Hassan Bakis can play there, and he's on, well, see, he's on 300 per week, and Slocum's on, I think he's on even less, yeah, only 200, but the thing is, uh, Bakis, he's a younger player, he might have a little bit of upside. No, he's 25 now. I remember scouting him a couple seasons ago, and he did. Not a couple seasons ago, last season. This is only second season. Uh, but yeah, he can play multiple positions, and he's really strong. I feel he's going to be, like, as a centre-back, if we need him, he'll be good. I just feel, yeah. But if he doesn't play well, he'll be in the same boat. I might try and let him go. So actually, Martin Slocum, I have transfer-listed him and put him not needed or available for loan. So we'll see how that goes, and we'll just... Yeah, place him into the under-21 squad. Because when I offered him the contract last season, I didn't know that, yeah, I was going to sign Anthony Robinson. And obviously, this guy's going to be the future left back. Even Dan Ball. Dan Ball is good, but he doesn't have the potential of this guy. This guy's only 18, you know, from Everton we signed. He didn't go out on loan last season, just spent in the youth squad, um, improving as a player. And he's already, he's a good player. When an 18-year-old is good for his current level, you know he's going to be... Uh, definitely much better in the future, so I want to give him the chances, but for now, Dan Ball is, oh, it says he, Robinson, he's the better player, but it's rotation purposes here today, as he's only 92% fits. Uh, see, Walking, they're only slightly favourites here in on their home turf as well, so yeah, I reckon on counter, we can stand a chance, um, obviously hit him on the break, and let's go in to the game again, uh, keeping this, this simple 4-1-2-1-2 narrow formation, really happy with that, um, I think, yeah, it shows we can get wins at home, obviously not every single home game, but I feel 
uh, will pick up enough points. That's the stage we are in. With the media predicting us to come last, and our performances have shown we aren't one of the better teams in the league, for us to keep uh, picking wins up at home, that's really, really good. Because this season can be the season to consolidate even what that's what the board wanted and what they felt was realistic to avoid relegation or try and avoid actually do you know i didn't tell you this did i there was a lower expectation than that there was just a attempt to avoid relegation but i thought for a little bit more wages uh the board will give us to just avoid relegation because i thought in my head if we get relegated yeah i'll get fired but yeah that was, there was even expectation lower than that. So the board had that there uh, to attempt to avoid relegation. And I was like, that's weird. <laughs> like, if I'm around that relegation zone, I'm probably going to get fired because we're doing crap. So either way, we'll keep with the those natural opposition instructions we're doing. And we're going to the team talk. And again, we'll go Leah Lamb. He gets some positive team talks. Uh, sometimes he doesn't. So when that happens, we'll go midfielders. Uh, what did he say? He said, yeah, show everyone what you can do. So I'll say passionately, uh, there's a lot more to come from you. So it's a similar kind of talk, even with the strikers as well now. Uh, we'll say calmly, I want you to go out there and grab us some goals. Okay, confused. And we'll see with the defense. So we won't, what the hell happened there? <laughs> the search by pick, there we go. Or sort by. And we'll say, there's a lot more to come from you. Okay, so a mixed reaction that only Johan to horse seemed confused when I just said I expect him to do well. I don't know. Like, for me, I feel they get confused with something they shouldn't get confused from, <laughs> if that makes sense. But anyway, I'm sure that won't hinder us too much as he's just a striker in terms of, yeah, us conceding a goal. Hopefully that doesn't happen. And he's been on good form anyway. Come on. I really like Bath, like, oh, I want this to be a special team, like, even in the second season, I want to attempt to get promoted, but maybe have to be a bit realistic as we are offside there, unfortunately, and that's a bit earlier call, have they, like, updated that or something, or that's just a one-off situation where the offside was called a bit earlier, we'll see, come on, Simpson, but like I said, I always want to attempt to get promoted, and maybe we are on the right, oh my god, again, See, that didn't look like offside to me. That didn't look like clearly offside to me. Let's see. Okay, it was offside. But it's not like so far offside in general play for you to notice it. Or me anyway. On first look. which is too dis That's disappointing. We could have been 2-0 here. Two offside calls. Ugh. But that shows you we're creating the chances. We look to be defending well. Okay, yes, come on. This looks good. This time, oh my god. Lads, you got to finish these chances. We could have been in the lead a few times here. But it's good we've had the majority of chances. Even though it doesn't really show it in the stats, but from the gameplay you've seen it. And they've had not many chances. We've heard the we've had the one click at chance. They haven't had one yet. And Walks injured someone there. Well done. Callum Willock. I think he's a decent player. Now come on, maybe a late goal in the half. That would be perfect. Demkiv to Horst. Pratt is back! David Pratt! First goal of the season. This is exactly what he had to do. This was his final chance. If he sputtered it in this game, <laughs> he would have probably not seen the first team again. And he knew that. And I do have faith in him. Like, he scored the first half of last season in the South, Conference South, Vanarama Conference South. It was He was so good. I just need him to recapture that form because he's got the mental attributes for this level. Really, really high. It's not like he's really old anyway. He's 28. That's not like a kind of age where you will be decreasing. What is he training on? Composure. See, that's only seven. Should I keep doing that? I don't know. But he's got some really high mentals. And I think that was the result of him doing really well last season, scoring 17 goals. And that's a bit... Well, he actually scored 25 in all competitions. But... It's not the best indication. Second half of the season, he dropped off. His first half of the season, whew, I'm sure if you've been watching this series through, he was just smashing them in. 
And like I said, he's still 28, so I'm sure he can recapture his form. And I've seen comments from uh, you guys that like he's done well for other people. He's done well for you. So come on, David, keep the form up. And maybe, yeah, you could take us to promotion, get some form, at least so we can be around those playoff areas. Because if we win a couple games in a row, we'll be right up there. So assertively, we'll guard against complacency. Yes, and no bad reactions. And I'm not going to mix with that. Nah. Because we've got good reactions all over the pitch. We've got a striker, some mids, and yeah, a few defenders and goalkeepers or goalkeeper. <laughs> I don't want to mess with that trying to do yeah some other team talks because like you saw before, they can get a red reaction, especially from a manager like myself that doesn't ha have high motivating. So that makes it even harder to be successful. I basically gave my manager the lowest ratings because I'm at the lowest level. <laughs> Come on, get rid of this. No, no, that's not... that's. How is conceding a goal one minute into the next half not getting complacent? That's the complete opposite. And we got good reactions. I know reactions aren't the be-all and end-all, but surely it has to account for something and not conceding in the first minute of the second half. Man, that's really frustrating, but hopefully we can get it back here. Aders replay it to someone Instead of just spinning around. Okay, here we go. Over the top to Horst. We're getting a lot of those chances, aren't we? I like that. And we're not like playing long balls or anything in the instructions. That just is, I guess, counter. Yeah, look to get the ball forward quickly when won. That's just the general playing on counter. We're like, we don't have, we, only, we have re retained possession and shorter passing. That's not shorter passing. But because you're playing on counter... Get the ball forward as soon as you can. It works that way. Oh, nothing happened. Demkiv. He sent the ball wide, apparently. Might have been... A, well, must have been a header. I wouldn't think he's the best at headers. But as I said, if if we can get a point from this game, this will be... Oh, I'll be content with that. And there's always someone who's abysmal for no reason. It's not always, but I see that happening. Demkiv will come off. Who are we going to bring on here, actually? Hmm... We're going to bring on Chris McPhee. He can come in and play that role. It's good he can play striker and the attacky mid. Uh, any defenders need to come off? Uh, Furlong. He's been okay. Yeah, he's just condition is low. Wouldn't want him to pick up an injury. We'll bring on Hassan Bakker. So we'll put him onto the left side there. So you play one with cover. Not sure if that makes a difference or not. <laughs> I guess it remains to be seen. And actually, no. We'll bring Chris McPhee striker. Then we'll take the Horst off. He hasn't had the best of game. Waste some chances. We'll bring on our talented uh, young player, Lee Palmer. You know, he's really, really good. Got League One potential. He can take us to around that level. So there's going to be so much legends uh, created for us here. That always happens at this level. Like, we're going to have legends. Like, you see David Pratt in the first season and whoever else you thought you did well. Uh, like, Ross Stern, whatever. And then, like, who help us get promoted from this division? And then the big difference from when we get the championship to get promoted to Premier League level, the step up to there. So you get, like, these guys aren't going to be there. They're just simply not going to be the quality. You have to get new legends in. So many you'll have. Okay, here we go. McPhee wins the corner. So there wasn't a shot on target. So this could be a goal. We'll see how we go. Come on, Dan Ball. Put this in. He goes. Palmer's around there. Nothing's going to happen. This could actually be a chance for them if they counter, but... It's not to be, as you can see there. Goalkeeper lock coming up was a bit risky there. <laughs> Come on, Palmer. Show your talents. Here he goes. He finds Pratt. Now, what's Pratt doing? Goes back to ball. This is nice controlled play here. What I like to see. Palmer plays in McPhee. And that is our five. Well, fifth, yeah? <laughs> fifth clear chance, uh, chance for the game. Come on, Palmer. Finish it. Well, is that six now? No, it's five. I'm just so excited that we have played this well. Eight shots on target. Come on, we deserve the three points here, surely. Uh, that's what I hate when we don't get the three points when we deserve to. Well, don't concede here, though. No way. Come on, counter. Look at this, man. Look at all the space. We've got to take the chance. Adelsbury, hit one. No, he doesn't. Palmer's there, though. Palmer. Pratt, finish it. Oh, Pratt. Seven clear cut. Nah, now looking at the stats there, we deserve the three points here. No way. We can't. I'm going to leave it on counter because that's where we're playing. Well, if we go attacking, we might concede or something. I'm just going to leave it as is. Ball. 
ball. Oh, I'm getting frustrated now because we deserve to be in the lead. <laughs> uh, Addersbury, Palmer. Come on. We'll go team talk. We'll go passionately uh, concentrate. And that means in attack as well to finish the chance. There may be one. Palmer, McPhee. What is he doing? Adelsbury, Palmer. Okay, this is nice. Could see a goal coming. Oh, Adelsbury. Someone just find the back of the net, man. But our defending has been great in this game. Like, only conceding one shot on target, one clicker chance. But, man, mate, oh, there's not going to be enough time left to just go attacking. And I won't waste time changing positions. It just won't happen here. Oh, that's hard to take, though. That is hard to take. That's, like, worse than losing when you're, like, trying to get a draw and you think you've played well. We deserve the three points here. Seven clear-cut chances. But because we don't have, like, absolutely high expectations, I'm just going to take this result and move forward. Like, that's what we have to do here instead of just worrying about it. Uh, we take a good result, uh, move forward. Like, it's more so the performance. Now, we did well to avoid defeat as well. So, to pick up a point, uh, staying around 17th, that's decent. That was my goal, but you look at the stats, everything we dominate, possession, shots on target, click out chances. Uh, we deserve the three points, but apparently this Cole guy was player of the match, Jay Cole. Yeah, their goalkeeper, that's not a surprise. Their goalkeeper was uh, fantastic. He gave them a point, pretty much. He helped them with that, but yeah. I'm going to take the performance and definitely move forward because excellent. I, there wasn't really any faults with the performance that I saw. We just conceded, uh, yeah, just soon after. After half time, after a good team talk as well. So, so that's the way it goes sometimes. So now it's time to move on to the next game. And I'm taking so much out of the previous game performance. Of course, the result only in a draw. Couldn't get the win. But how we played, the chances we created, the possession we had. I was so happy with that pushing forward. Because I always like to have faith in my tactics as well. So that's something important uh, that I know... Because I can notice when our tactic is bad, kind of, like, we're not playing really... You can tell, and you're, you can just watch, and you can see the game, how it's going. The previous game was one of those games where you know, yeah, uh, something is going right, and that's what I like to see. Uh, made a few changes here. Actually, I've brought Anton Walks into a centre-back position. He wasn't absolutely performing in the defensive midfield role, so I wanted to still play him, because I was going to drop him, but then I saw he had some good morale, so you got to play as many of those guys as you can, really. Even here, I'm considering playing Sheckleford ahead of Simpson. I'd rather get as many of the guys in as possible. Noah Keats still trying to get some reserve games. If Pratt didn't perform, he probably wouldn't be playing today. But yeah, those two guys are going to be the guys who start. Um, the strikers anyway, to Horse and Pratt. And yeah, the rest of the team is going to stay how it is. But I really want... Hopefully, Walks can perform in the centre-back position. Because like, he wasn't performing in defensive midfield. So I guess because yeah, the training he was going down. Now a couple are going up, so... He must be improved. He's only 18, though, so you can't hold that. But he's clearly our best defensive midfielder. And then if you go to centre-back, he's at least equal with Charlie Ward and uh, Ward and Furlong. And also, if we get our best-rated centre-back, Josh Pass back soon, in four to seven weeks, things are going to... They're going to be looking bright for us. But, yeah, again, if I can go with the philosophy with what I wanted uh, from these two games to avoid defeat and potentially win the game, I don't know, but Dartford, they've been... They're even a bit better than the last team we played, Walking. So, again, if I get a point from this game, yeah, that will be all right. I was just, yeah, wondering there, like, the pre-match thing. It said, like, Rachel Adams. It's like a girl's name. And I suppose, yeah, these days, there's a lot of girl presenters. Uh, but anyway, let's move on. They're playing, ooh, flat five in midfield, looking to dominate the, the possession. But they only have one up front. So, it depends how t attacking their midfielders are, like their centre mids and even their wingers. But I guess we'll see how that goes down. But it's definitely, it's not an attacking formation. So I'll give myself a chance in this game to win. If we like play as we did last on counter, we're going to have chances. So here again, Leah Lamb. See, look at that. Some good reactions for the centre-backs to definitely hold on to their morale. And then for the midfielders, we'll do something. What we'll say, what did um, he say? He said, come on, lads. Show everyone, yeah, show everyone what you can do. So we'll do something along those lines. But we'll say it passionately. Um, I think there's a lot more to come from you, and you believe what you got what it takes. 
if that makes sense, <laughs> how I said it, I believe, um, yeah, I believe they got what it takes to be really the best, like, these, we've got a, ta we've got talented players, a lot of them are young and talented, like, their ability as a whole may not be the best to get promoted this season, but the kind of players, like, skillful players, young players we have, they can do it, so again, we'll say, hey, yeah, there's a lot more to come from you, and I completely believe you've got what it takes, there you go. So no bad yeah, reactions there, only positive ones. So come on, let's see if we can perform the same, the same way. Of course, this season performances and results have been up and down. We'll see if there's going to be some consistency here. Hopefully there is. And I really want to see how Walks goes at centre-back, if he performs. Because, yeah, I don't know, for me, like Gallinar, he's not really performing. Even last game when we did well, he got 6.6 .6 rating. Not good enough. Come on to horse. Do something here. Demkiv. Prats! Oh, that's what I would have loved for him. If he can score here today and get on some form. Adelsbury! Oh, what a hit! That had some venom in it. And Ben Adelsbury has found some goal-scoring form. We move up to 13th with that Ben Adelsbury strike in the fourth minute only. Dan Ball set it up for him. Oh! Look at that. That was amazing, that hit. That's perfect. That is pure Ben Adelsbury. I'm actually, like, I search on now on Bass, like, their results, their games, and he, yeah, actually scores some good long shot goals. So that is trademark Adelsbury. But why is there so much space? Oh, I, I kind of was expecting to concede there, but not through that way. I saw all these players available here. Look at this. How is someone not there? What is the situation? Check it. Why has he moved? But that's, yeah. We had an extra number there and we still conceded. I would have talked about that more if we conceded through that avenue, if they yeah, exploited that. But we conceded anyway. So that's a bit disappointing. Both goals were good in this game so far, but disappointed to concede again after we took the lead. That's a disappointment. We need to learn to hold on. But that, at this level, that's what you get. That is what you get. Oh, no. Yes, get rid of it. Or maybe we can counter here. Demkiv. Yeah. Oh, also JPS as well. He's come back from injury. And David Pratt picks up a knock here. It's like the worst time when he's trying to recover the form. He picks up a knock. So you might have to sub him out. But yeah, JPS is back. Recovering from his injury. But just give him some under-21 games to... Yeah, get his match fitness up, but he may have to return earlier than expected here. No, no, not like this. Ah. See, I'm not even mad anymore when I concede. It's just it's disappointing. I just feel we don't deserve to concede. They just they just get it forward. They just cross it from a deep position there, far post. Ah. It was a good cross, though. Like, if that was me, I would have, like, <laughs> praised that. But it's just frustrating to concede goals any time. Come on, can we get it back, maybe? Bender. Oh! Oh, to Horst, man! Take the chance. We're going to have to go attack here. We have to. Behind. When you're behind, you can't stay on counter. Because for me, that's wasting too much time to hold out for maybe one chance or something. Nah. Come on. Aggressively. I expect to see much better. And Pratt... Nah, Pratt's going to come off. But he got a good reaction. So we're going to leave him at least for 10 minutes. And see how we do. But yeah, I feel the goals we concede, again, easily preventable goals. And here, we've got a free kick to defend. Uh -huh. See, I don't even, like, break things anymore or attempt to, like, my mouse, chair, whatever. Again, it just... You've seen these goals all before, so it's not like a surprise, you know what I mean? Two goals, uh, or two minutes in, to half time, like the previous game. And they've got another free kick, and that ends up in the back of the net somehow. A lower league level player can score a free kick from 30 yards. Far, man. Ben Jefford, what's his rating? Are you serious? A guy with eight free kick taking can do that, can score from 30 yards out. Well, I'll be far... Come on. That, no way. <laughs> yeah, we'll just take Praddy off here and we'll bring on McPhee. No, actually, Ross Stern needs match fitness here. We'll just bring on some younger guys, whatever. And Charlie Ward will come on. 
four walks, give him a bit of a rest. That's so yeah, we're not going to get anything from this game. But again, it shows you the quality difference. Even though there's not that guy I just showed you, he's not even that good, and he scored that free kick. Even his free kick taking only eight. Like, man, unless it's all the attributes uh, compiled together, just say I'm not sure if this is a weird way to think about it, but say all their players together in their team, uh, they've got a current ability rating altogether of a thousand, and then you compare it to us, maybe our current ability level is seven hundred. So because theirs is higher, they're going to be they're going to have a higher chance to score and win the game. I have a feeling that's a... Oh, Keeper, what are you doing? What are you doing? This is just a complete stuff up this game. It's one of those games you get at this level, <laughs> lower league level. Like, as I said, I'm not going to completely lose it like I probably have done in the past because it's like... It's just so weird <laughs> or something. It just It's disappointing and stuff like that, as I mentioned. It's just one of the results you're going to take. And it just, it's really weird. And it just, you just keep, like, they keep having chances, chances. And, yeah, it's just one of these games. Like, I don't even know how to explain it. Like, you can see here, I don't even know what to talk about it. Because it's, it's a bit ridiculous. But, yeah. It's one of these results you're just going to take. And, like I already mentioned, we haven't been consistent. Last game was so amazing. And we're, there's no similarities in the performance at all playing the exact same way but you get that with a like a newly promoted team like say if you take anyone in the Premier League for example that gets promoted you don't expect them to finish top four you expect them to be around the position I am in the league see where are we now after this result we are 21st <laughs> which is not great but you expect the team to be around that position I hope we can pick up more wins though because we've got yeah that we had two away games in this episode but next we've got three home games so I kind of failed in my objectives uh, for these two games to be unbeaten in both one of them I felt the second one was like yeah it was never gonna happen uh, but the first game we showed some great signs so I'm gonna take something from this episode because in the game, we stood a chance of getting a result in. We played so amazing. And then just not sure what happened in the second one. It's just one of those things at lower league where, yeah, the, the game completely stuffs up, <laughs> yeah, stuffs up for your team. Like a, a guy with eight free kick taking can score from 30 yards. And, <laughs> yeah, that kind of stuff. But we've got three home game next. Three home games next. And, yeah, I'll be looking. To, like, in my head, I hope to win all of them. Like, three of them. But at least two I'd be happy with. We'll just check an update from the board on our expectations, how we're going anyway in the league. So it says, yeah, the minimum expectation is the team stay clear of relegation. And it says the board are satisfied that the team have tried their best. So who not? Like, I, I don't want to say I want to get fired. That, that's stupid. No, not get fired. Get relegated, sorry. Because I was thinking in my head, like, even if we get relegated, I might still keep my job. But that's going to be worse. I would have rather not <laughs> not getting promoted in the first season than getting relegated because then it's like starting again almost. Uh, yeah, but it's probably going to be a relegation battle. And yeah, would you want to see that? Do you want to see a relegation battle? Would you like to see that? Of course, it'd be interesting. I suppose it'll get more... Like, I'll be more frustrated when I lose and concede goals when it gets towards that end of the season like here I think we got home games we can get yeah get two wins or whatever at least and we can get out of that but if it was a situation at the end of the season with only two games left or something and we need to win like both of them or <laughs> something like that or you don't know how many you need to win uh yeah then you'll see some bigger reactions from me but either way leave your thoughts how you'd like to see this season do you want to see the relegation battle would you like to see that <laughs> because, yeah, I'm still in the mood to uh, record the game. See, sometimes even when I lose like 5-1, I don't lose interest too much. I still keep interest in the game. It just depends how, yeah, thing, how, how my, it's all in my head, to be honest. It's all in your head with save. It's what you just, it's your outlook on things. You've got, you got to, you got to think towards the future kind of, not just the specific result, the specific, specific game you just played. But either way, if you could smash 200 likes on this video, I'll upload the next episode in this series and I'll see you guys then.